So processed foods really, uh, first of all, are, are, are made up of four basic things, and it's refined flours, refined sugars, vegetable oils, and trans fats. And then there's all the, you know, so, so-called mystery ingredients, the kind of, uh, you know, the, the ingredients that the, the food scientists concoct in order to give flavors and such. You know, so that would food. be like artificial sweeteners and colorings and, and stuff yes. like that? Yeah, all those kind of things. But if you, but, but I, you know, I don't know that those, those things are the primary problem. It's, it's the, it's those four big components, the refined flour, sugars, vegetable oils, and trans fats that are really the main problem. And if you go clear back to Weston Price's research in the 1930s, uh, you'll, you'll find that uh, he connected the dots between people consuming these foods because they, uh, and, and chronic disease because these foods are nutrient deficient. So Price mm. found that uh, that uh, the population still consuming their native traditional diets, meaning they had no processed foods, those those diets contain 10 times more fat soluble vitamins. That's basically A, D, K2, and E, and four times more water soluble vitamins. That's all the B vitamins and C and one and a half to 60 times more minerals than did the American diets of his day. And in other words, there was already that much that much processed food. That was in, in the 1930s too. That he in was the in the 1930s, right? And so uh, it's it's only gotten much worse since mm -hmm. the 1930s, obviously. And so has you know our overweight, obesity, and and all the chronic disease has ramped up just uh, exponentially.